Welcome back. Well, this week is Money Smart Week, so I thought what a perfect occasion to have Mike Wayne from Shemunk Canal in. And today we're going to be talking about ways to improve your credit score. If people are anything like me, you know, that's always something that's in the back of your mind. How do I improve it? How did it get to the way it is? So I'll kind of let you jump right in and tell us what you think. Well, that's that's a very smart thing. Anybody who's interested in borrowing should should be aware of your credit score. It's really kind of a snapshot of your credit history. So there's lots of things that it takes into account. There's lots of things that it doesn't take into account. So let's look, what doesn't it do? It doesn't look at your employment, doesn't look at what you earn, doesn't look at how long you've been employed. What it does look is, what's your payment history been like? How much do you owe? So if you have a $10,000 credit card line and it's always at 9,999, it's going to actually hurt you more than a credit um, balance of a thousand or two thousand dollars. Um, it talks about the type of credit. You know, if you've got an awful lot of installment debt or an awful lot of revolving debt, and then you've got things like how how have you been making your payments? Are you making them on time? Um, uh, those are all things that kind of come into play with with calculating a credit score. And one question you kind of just brought up. You said if you have you know a ten thousand dollar balance. And you're always you run it all the way up. Is it best, in your opinion, you know, to if you have the money to pay it all off at once or do it in smaller installments? Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm more in, uh, of the opinion that you should pay it off in installments. So rather than pay ten thousand dollars all at once, maybe you ought to pay twenty five hundred dollars over four months because then you've got some money still in the bank in case something were to happen. But it's it, it's for people really. I mean, lines of credit or credit card balances are very very important for big ticket kind of items, a car repair, maybe a home improvement or something like that. But if you're using that for your daily living expenses, that's going to kind of hurt you because that balance is always probably going to be pretty high. Great. And real quick, you mentioned you know things that don't affect your credit score. What are some things we should be doing to improve our credit score? Well, certainly you want to pay your bills on time. That's important. Um, if Keep low balances on the revolving loans as much as possible. Um, don't open too many accounts at once. If you go to the mall and you apply for for every credit card in every store on one day, your credit score will dive very, very quickly. Um, and the last one is close out accounts that you no longer use. So maybe you've got a couple of store cards that you haven't used in years. Close those out. That'll take away from what that available credit is that, that's being evaluated. All right, great. Well, thank you, Mike Wayne. Well, that's all the time we have for right now, but we'll put more of this information up on our website after the show.